Hi, my name is Stan. You know we all have precious treasures. Some of mine are the photographs found in these old family albums. Images of loved ones taken long ago. Moments in time that we can enjoy over and over again. The problem is that time has not been kind to these photographs. But there is something we can do about it. Come along with me and I'll show you what I mean. Now to get a very good scan, you don't want to try to scan the book. What you want to do is pull the bindings apart. This is the picture that I'm going to be working on today. It's a photograph of my father when he was about 10 years old. As you see, there's a little bit of damage to the sides. There's a, actually a tear that runs across the face. Once we get it scanned, it'll give you a better idea of the damage that has been done to this picture. In scanning photographs, lint is a very large problem, and I like to use a chemically treated dust cloth to wipe away any of the lint that might be on the photograph itself. Controlling the dust or lint on your scanner is also an issue. So you want to make sure that your bed glass in the scanner is as free from lint and dust as possible. Take the photographs that you're going to be scanning and place them face down on the scanner bed. Close the top. This will help keep the image closer to the glass and keep it a sharper, clearer image. The program that I'm going to be using to restore that photograph is Corel's Paint Shop Pro X6. This is the page that it loads to. On the upper left side is the tree or the folders and files, places where you have different things. This folder is my mom and dad's pics, and I've got, as you see, I've been scanning and working on all of these old family photographs. Up here at the top, there's three tabs. Right now we're on the Manage tab. We have the Adjustment tab. This will allow you to change the lightness and darkness, also make corrections. And then we have the Edit tab. We're not going to be working on this picture today, so I'll just turn that off. Up in the upper left corner is the scanner button. Just click on that. That'll bring up the scanner window. And down in the lower right corner is the preview and the scan, which we will do now as preview. Now the program selects this dotted line around the outside. That's the area to scan. I don't want to scan all of that, so I'm going to come in and scan a little bit around the photograph. Now, because this is a small photograph, I want to raise the DPI settings up to 1200. And I leave it at color because I can change everything to black and white later on if that's what I want to do. It lets me scan the full spectrum of the, the palette of the photograph. Now, I click Scan. I've got that scanned. I can turn this little window off. At the left, at the top of the toolbar, there's a hand. If you click on the hand, that will allow you to use the scroll button on the mouse and increase or decrease the size of the picture. Let you zoom in and out. Now you can see the damage. There's creases. Looks like there was a tear that came across his eyes, some damage across his eyebrow and up to the other side. The first thing I want to do is save this photograph. So I'll come over here in the upper left corner. I will click on the, that's the Save As button. I will select the folder. I found that saving something by year and month and day and then the name, it's a very good way to keep everything organized. I'm going to give this a name as 1940. I don't know the month nor the day, but I would assume that this was probably October or November, so I can give that a, uh, a month. I don't know the day, so I will just give it a name. Click Save, and there we have it. On the left side here, there's a tilted picture. That's the straightening tool. What I'd like to do now is click on that and straighten this picture up. To do that, I'm going to make sure this little block is on one side of the picture, then bring the other block down on the same side. Double click in the picture, 
and it'll straighten the picture. Now this little thing will work horizontally, it'll work vertically, and I'm going to try it on the other side to see which side is the best side. That looks okay. Click Save again. Now that I have this picture saved, down here in the lower left hand corner is the folder that you have everything saved to. Now you see it should be about right in here but it's not in here at this time. So to get this photograph to show up I need to go into the Manage tab and then select it and then I can come back to the Adjust and to the Editor. So from the Manager I can select a photograph and it'll go back and forth. Now in the Editor attached to the red eye the drop down there's this makeover this makeover button is for taking care of blemishes ink spots and you see there's a lot of blemishes it's also in the adjust tab right here on the left upper left side this makeover kit which on the end is a blemish touch up what that does is takes the outside pigments of your photograph and bring them in and and covers that spot up with what's on the outside. Now this works really good on most situations but there's a few situations where it doesn't work very well at all. Now you can adjust it over here on the left, you can adjust the size of it. Once I click on it then I can use the scroll button to go in and out and kind of determine what size I want that repair to be. And then you just start clicking away on the blemishes that you don't want in your photograph. Let's just zoom through this portion and take care of all these blemishes. Now over here on the left side, on the right side of the left side, is a cloning button. Here I'm using the cloning tool and I will explain this tool more in depth on the next video. Go back to the blemish tool and take care of some more spots. want to save this. I want to go to the cropping tool and crop this down a little bit. Now I'm not finished working on this picture but I just want to get rid of all of the other stuff. Okay I'm going to click Save. Okay I'm going to stop right here and invite you to come back and see my next video where we will explore the cloning tool in greater detail please subscribe. Please come to my channel and see the other videos that I have posted. Thank you for watching and have a great day.